hello to our listeners. This is meeting number three of the Cycloge series about large language models, usually in closure. And today we'll have a session about uh, the ecosystem of LLM ops and mostly Bosquet, this new closure library. And uh, that that was announced today, I think, in Clojures, uh, but it has been there for a while uh, in GitHub. Yeah. And I think today we'll not uh, have these intros because everybody has already met mm -hmm. yesterday. And so we can begin with the talk, uh, if you wish, Digimantas. Yeah, so let's just uh, dig in. Yes. Hi, I am Digimantas. Uh, I'm uh, based in Vilnius, Lithuania. I am a Clojure developer. Been working with Closure for for I don't know decades. Uh, I've been working with Closure in a language domain, working with NLP, AI's pre uh, pre LLM era. So think about the you know more heuristics, uh, more rule defined and the natural language processing with classical machine learning. Yeah, so worked with that for for quite some time. Um, and then, yeah, that was the reason why I also got so excited about, about LLMs, uh, that they open up so many interesting capabilities. They bump AI, AI world by, I don't know, <laughs> miles and miles ahead. So it's, it's exciting to be part of it, uh, and develop, uh, open source tools around it as well as just as, exp as explore the ecosystem and uh, new applications which are emerging. So yeah, we'll be presenting that in the coming slides. Big straight in. Yeah, so I will be presenting overall kind of the whole, well, the whole, more, the ecosystem, which I know uh, revolving around LLM, LLM operations. And what is LLM ops? It's, it's also like a not strictly well-defined, uh, Concept, yes, it's it's kind of borrowing a bit from ML ops. So I, I bet this ecosystem will evolve and we'll have uh, we will have more precise terminology to talk about it. So what for now I kind of call it LLM ops because it's 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 operations so covering all sorts of things. So as as this ecosystem grows, we will see the we'll see more fine fine tuned, fine grained uh, conceptual framework to think about it. So I hope. But my 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 talk here will will contribute a little to towards that towards understanding the how ecosystem works. And yes, I will. Uh, so this is will be the first part ecosystem, and the second part is Bosquet, my my own implementation of of LLM ops as I see it. Yes. So that's the plan. Yes, just to repeat overview. Then we'll have intermission, kind of a small pause to think about the applications. Uh, review where we can use it, then I'm moving to Bosquet, and then discussion. Uh, and my 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 goal, what I would like to take away from take take from our meeting here is to understand what what are the needs in the community, where to focus the the efforts in in such open source libraries. What is the best the best uh, the best bank for the hour open source open source work hour to 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 contribute as much as possible to useful tools for the community okay so hall of, hall of fame uh, uh the libraries we all know well most likely uh, the the stars of the of the uh, generative ai uh, landscape the auto gpt uh, with uh, crazy 140k stars and you see this meteoric rise of, of uh, auto GPT. Uh, what they did is that they created a yeah, science fiction looking uh, implementation of uh, agents. So they give a task to LLMs and they start going doing stuff like, you know, <laughs> do investment if you want, search the web. And it kind of plans and executes actions. And it is so exciting that it is visible why it is happening. Like, boom, like immediate raise. Uh, we, the true like workhorse of this area is Langchain. And uh, although it has way less stars, it's, it started earlier, but uh, pay attention to the contributors. It has 900 contributors. So it is really a a hub 
of everything that happens uh, around LLM. So whatever is released they in either new new library like uh, new vector space vector db or new uh new provider of the of the generative ai or like open ai releases like uh, like last week uh fundamental new changes in their api they will they will make additions implementations overnight in their library of course people there are people, people some would criticize that it's quick and then research but that's so impressive so that you can you have some announcement and tomorrow you can play around with python code uh, with with those advancements you know in your repo um, or whatever the thing is called in python um and llama index is another very interesting project one of the really cool ones they are they are focusing more on this enterprise i don't know if it's a good word but uh, but on this production level of usage where you have where you have to process pdfs yes and you don't have the ability to load them in one context so very strong integration with uh with vector dbs the chunking of documents into small bits and pieces so that fits into the context so they have very very interesting angle here so uh to me those are like those three projects are uh, uh, the the stars of the of the llm world world of course there are other like uh, auto gpt has baby agi and so on so you can have other ones but to me it's both like in terms of stars and contributors and the speed with which they are delivering things is really exemplary and both Langchain and Lama Index received investments I think both around 10 million okay so um as, as I said in the beginning uh, that this terminology the 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 conceptual landscape is not entirely clear in with LLM libraries and they are chunked together into into yeah we just do LLM so here yeah, I kind of attempt to to group them into into certain packages so we have full stacks which do everything so Langchain and Llama index I will now go no no not go deeper into those because we are like you know well known on themselves uh then we have libs projects uh products which are focusing on agent execution so auto gpt and camel i will have another slide for for camel we'll look a little bit into it um then we have uh, memory yes and um, it although i put in here this uh, database bb8 it's we should not think about it as just the just the vector database uh, although this is the more space most covered where are like i don't know 20 a lot of vector database just choose whatever you want whatever fits best uh, daniel yesterday demonstrated one there is a uh, you know open source hosted what what not uh, but the memory is also about things like cache yes yeah? so if you if you issuing a request to to generate a uh, ai endpoint uh continue on fruit list apple banana and then next yes it will generate something so gpt cache will will store the same uh, request and response to that and then will not uh, actually issue call to the remote uh, endpoint multiple benefits yes the those endpoints are really slow and they cost money yes well although it looks like 0 0.001 cent for for lots of tokens but if you, if you have lots of customers and this goes around it, it piles up so having caches is 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 important and of course it's not uh, as straightforward as just you know precisely storing this if someone will send banana apple or apple banana or banana comma apple or, or bullet list of those it's essentially the same request yeah so it has to be kind of semantic uh, matching a bit so caching is super important interesting interesting area and we have one one project which is which is doing that 
but also going into the memory of other, other, other examples. Uh, again, vector databases with semantic similarity has this fundamental problem that it will find me something which is similar. And sometimes I, I want not more, more of the same, but I want continuation of, of, my, of my document. Yes, if I have uh, in my memory, uh, uh, introduction paragraph from the from the scientific article. I might want to next retrieve uh, something which goes further in the document, not another introduction. Yeah. So the memory is is something in itself very exciting and very important to explore. And current current ecosystem is ninety five percent about vector databases, which is fine, but uh, it will have to go further. Another section is very interesting. <laughs> it's everything very interesting. Uh, safety, yes. Uh, I will go slightly in another slide into the guardrails, but but we yesterday yesterday there was a, a presentation about this uh, that you know hallucinations, imprecisions. Uh, you never know what will come out precisely out of this model yeah so uh so it's like operating um, without any guard guard really some kind of you know super powerful machine or even better uh yeah I'm, i want to borrow i was watching way way back uh, uncle bob presenting something something i think about test driven development in, in a conference and he said very interesting analogy like in the operating room if something goes wrong, the the uh, the surgeon will raise his hands, and there is a procedure. He will not touch anything. If the lights are out, they, you know people will know what to do. Nurses uh, will will do this and that. Not just going with the with the bare hands, grabbing pizza, or grabbing sledgehammer, and this and that, and then fixing, and then going back to operation. No, it's 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 bad. So it it feels that something like like that is now happening to fellow lambs. We're so excited, so moving speedy, and not even noticing that the things are more fundamentally will be broken uh without without guardrails so guardrails so this is also like for me i think i i will be focusing on this a lot say on safety aspects and also we see regulations coming in in the european union to 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 address some some safety concerns uh so that's yes that's one llm uh, language um yes another very interesting very exciting area uh, uh, I don't know how to best name it, but you will see also in Bosquet and Microsoft guidance is that how to prompt the LLMs, you kind of need some specific language for that. Yes, it's not plain English. You start giving, oh, let's think step by step. Yes, the prompting technique. And this phrase is, is it's, it's kind of a programming instruction. Or, or, or when, you, when you start defining how the results have to come back in JSON, precise JSON. Yes, like this re-LLM defines regular expression kind of language, how to define what comes back. So you, you're kind of moving away a bit from the plain English in, to interrogate LLM into some kind of DSL, some kind of, uh, some kind of guiding language. Yes, so this is also interesting where, where the boundary, boundary will be. And uh, the last one, well, the last one on my slides, but there are many more possible taxonomy branches here is evaluation. It, it's kind of connected to safety, but there are no evaluation testing solid frameworks uh, for this, uh, except like, okay, let's have a spreadsheet and human will, will mark a good answer, bad answer, good answer, bad answer, it does not scale. If you listen to the, to the podcasts where the creators of LLM, like guys from Mosaic, uh, others who are building LLMs, you will notice that we are saying, okay, but we don't really have, or I saw also listen to Notion talking about their LLM application. So also either we are building ad hoc, uh, ad hoc tools of their own or something again, like uh, unaddressed um, area. So, so to me, where I would really love to see some serious uh, 
open source effort is in the evaluation space. Whereas Era thinks it's not like totally total desert, but it's not like we have some some good good defined, well defined, interesting projects happening here. Oops. Yeah, I don't know any 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 ideas, any suggestions. Maybe you have some some uh, some other uh, categories for for LLM uh, taxonomy. Yeah. So if not, I will. Yeah, just very briefly. Uh, uh, this agent thing with the AI camel. Yes. So what it 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 works on is to create a framework where the, the human user will give a task and then deployed agents like stock trader AI this AI user as well because it needs to execute this develop trade trade the uh, trading bot and another one Python programmer but it is also an agent and they are kind of working together you see with all the instructions what to install what to do so that you can build a stock trading platform yeah so it's 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 uh it's very interesting uh kind of the totally artificial general intelligence uh, area where we can define agents define tasks and they will start start spinning this 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 world to to achieve uh, and and goal so this is yeah uh, not only auto gpt but there are other interesting projects in this area uh, as i mentioned guidance yes what you see in green is the defined uh, defined output? Yeah, so they will have. Let's look actually in into the website and in the guidance. Let's scroll a bit. Where was that? Yeah, here. So you see, in their language, they are defining what can be the results. Yes that mantra is to be generated with certain temperature that strength is a pattern regular expression pattern that it's uh it is only numbers ex accepted yes and so on so the armor is also to be generated from certain enumeration so kind of defining what can come out of this uh, of this um, generation not just in terms of uh, structure schema like okay it's json but also looking slightly deeper into the into the uh, semantics yes what what has to be generated so very interesting project from from microsoft and there are other a few other thing a few other similar projects which which are doing that so uh, if you are deploying those into production, this is super interesting uh, to, to check out. Uh, Shreya is a uh, very uh, yeah, inspiring developer. Uh, if you haven't heard her talk in, 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 uh, on, on podcasts, please do. She's really having nice, nice ideas. And here, in terms of safety, I will just go quickly because I see already expanded too much here. Because all those projects are so interesting, so like uh, worlds on their on their own with very very great ideas and implementations. So what in the in the guardrails, you can kind of define uh, what I what I expect from my uh, from my uh, LLM. If I'm defining something in the domain of medical uh, medical expertise, you see an interesting choice in XML. You will define okay. So what what's the length? Slightly slightly similar to the guidance, but it also kind of goes deeper in like validating URLs. Uh, if if you want to generate URL, it validates against hallucinations. So like uh, multi issuing multiple multiple requests to to LLMs, so, and both um, again both can be specifications why they are completely external yes so you can build your your tooling around it you you can have a suite of of specifications what does that mean for my business for my use what does that mean to have a good uh, reliable generation and then you can you know you deploy them and kind of have this split off of roles in the team someone who is the, who is defining um, uh, guardrails and someone who is working on the best promise yeah so again very very exciting very good project to to follow and actually use in in your your on your own yeah um 
Yeah, I, I don't know. Any anyone has a favorite uh, LLM related uh, library to share to use to comment? No. Uh, is it a good time for a question? Oh, yeah. should we should we maybe ask questions later? What do you think? No, no, it's it's yeah, it's exactly we, we pause now because now now I will move to to Bosque. Ah, uh, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, thank you. So, um, guidance, for example, mm -hmm. if I understand correctly, it is a way to use existing. LLM APIs, probably specifically OpenAI, right? Mm -hmm. But in a very um, sophisticated way of generating prompts. Is that right? Uh, constraining prompts. And not, not only uh, not only OpenAI. So if you see here, all those tools, usually we are not uh, constrained mm -hmm. to OpenAI. You will construct both uh, the endpoint for LLM and then, uh, then you can define uh, your your guidance for this. So yes, existing one, and then your prompts like like here, they are they are constrained. Yes, they are. You say here for is it not too small? It is good, I think. Yes, like in this one. Yes, you say here in the age line, and it will you will see in Bosquet it's slightly quite similar. You see that at this point, I'm invoking generation, but I will only accept numbers back. Yeah, so it will kind of, uh, in, in inside internal machinery, it will probably add like additional prompts saying, okay, generate only only numbers or something like that. Yes, and this will will then validate the what what comes back. So if if OpenAI will uh, come back with H. Then in 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 words, yes, in letters, not in numbers, it will reject it and will probably request another one to to change. Ah, and by the way, you see here it's another example, exactly the same, but they are using Llama, not not OpenAI. So we both APIs ensure that you don't um, uh, don't need to bother about intricacies of OpenAI or other models. It it will work the same the same way always. Yeah. And also, like here in this uh, in in uh, guard guardrails, also very similar. Yes. Yeah. yeah thank you. Mm. Yeah. So again, it's 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 yeah. I think it's a must in the production. If if we are deploying LLMs to production, deploying without tools like that, it is a asking for. For trouble, uh, or, or well, of course, not not necessarily this tool, but something, or maybe you know, internally built, but some kind of some kind of checking against against your domain is is is, is a necessity. Yeah, and any other questions, suggestions, libraries to share? Yeah, yeah. So the reason I was like starting with this is that. You see the richness of ecosystem, and unless you are long chain, uh, it's it's hard to and pointless to, to cover it all with one library. Yes, so if we are kind of having some 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 uh, closure based uh, implementations, it's it's and with the ethos of the philosophy of closure to do like small libraries, very focused libraries, composable libraries. It's best to to have you know to focus on on uh, on certain aspects and then uh, compose them uh, so that it it's you know you can build whatever LLM application is needed. So that's my hunch that it's it's so Bosque would choose some path, some other libraries would go with other applications, other dimensions, and then they can be you know combined together to to achieve uh, whatever is necessary for you know concrete deployment. Um, so that's one angle in terms of application, uh, in terms of libraries. Another angle is applications, yes. And there are, of course, again, taxonomy of applications is broad, but uh, very, very briefly, very, like, very uh, few, few main ones I see is information extraction. Again, we are so focused on generation aspect, yes, that, oh, we are, we are giving some kind of a beginning 
for the for the um, uh, some kind of prompt for the LLM, and then it continues. Yes, banana, apple, and then continue the fruits. But in the what we see often in 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 uh, business domain, in the application domain, is that it is information extraction. If I have if a company has 500 um, uh, quarterly um, reports, financial reports, yeah, I need to extract uh, certain information from that. Yes, how many uh, I don't know goods were sold. What what are increases in sales per departments? What uh, auditors are mentioned? And uh, pure like vanilla, what well, not vanilla, but pure like old old type natural language processing tasks. And uh, LLMs are amazing at that. I can ask those questions. I can extract those question and answers in, in all sorts of ways. So uh, question answering, classification, entity identification, all those applications are like super important and can bring value, like bringing value today, now. Yes, yeah, so, but for, for those, for, for information extraction, reliability is very important. Yes, we, we have to be sure that the profit number extracted or like disease uh, symptom uh, list extracted from, from medical reports is really, you know, accurate. And there are no hallucinations. So reliability is very important for applications in that domain, as well as memory. Yes, because typical, typical uh, document will not fit into your uh, 4,000, 8,000 window. Now it is increased and it is growing, but still it is always will be limited and Claudie has now 10 100,000 uh, token uh, window uh, OpenAI now released 16,000 window uh, the question it look but still it looks like the 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 ability to keep in mind in the memory all those thousands of thousands of talk tokens is questionable so we'll probably will still want to have some very custom very specific uh, memory de de deployed for this application financial domain medical domain so in my view this is the this is the two 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 kind of most critical aspects when deploy de developing information extraction applications um generation of course uh, that, that's what what we see and uh, what what would usually associate uh, ai and generative ai stuff with and uh, of course, context construction, I think, is the most critical here. So this prompt, elaborate prompt uh, build up. Uh, if you haven't seen uh, an article a couple of months back, if not more, about um, um, reverse engineering uh, GitHub Copilot, uh, the guy was doing that. It was on Hacker News and constructing, uh, re realizing how the prompts were constructed for the copilot, how this context construction was, and so complex, so good, so so ingenious. And uh, so, if we want to generate some, I don't know, emails, blog posts, books, it's not like, oh, you are a super interesting uh, writer, write me a blog about this and that. Yeah, it will result in something, but not not something you can compete with. And so generation requires this elaborate prompt construction uh, mechanics. Yeah, so again, an interesting angle for the libraries to work on. Um, yeah, and task execution agents, they are one of the most exciting areas, yes, to, to, to for, the, for the AI to really do the work outside of, of its own, like, you know, domain closed chat GPT window to execute something. So safety is one primarily prime or prime concern here. Yes, if, it, if I have a booking uh, booking uh, agent, and it will book me something uh, I don't know first class and super expensive luxury which I don't want to, and then you know charge my card, uh, it's a problem. Yeah, so uh, that's but this is like least least damaging example. If I have some agents executing, I don't know posting uh, documents from HR with salaries so other other private information to you know development channel on slack it will be a disaster as well so task execution without guard guardrails schema safety is uh, is a critical critical aspect of that yeah so both are going to be two two then frameworks two taxonomies to look at how to dissect this 
functionality when working on LLM libraries applications and this library tooling uh, angles. Yeah, so I don't know, any 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 suggested questions before moving to Bosquet demo? Uh, maybe just one question uh -huh. from me. Uh, do you think uh, this, how, how do I say this? Uh, this kinds of uh, library uh, diversity uh, in the Python space. Uh, should we in the Clojure community uh, try to replicate them or can we interrupt with them uh, mm -hmm. in production? Uh, which do you think should be our, you know, uh, the best way in, in the upcoming period? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. If I may, okay. Well, I will answer this briefly because ex exactly this question I have also for for the discussion point. Yeah, that's a. I don't have a good ex answer. Um, uh, answer for this. Yes, Python is 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 deploying a lot interesting libraries, and there is. Let's be realistic. There is no way closure community will 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 uh, repeat uh, the same speed, the same velocity. Um. But also, we know that Clojure is super efficient at at uh, certain you know implementation details. Um, so I guess this is it. But it goes to individual you know decisions. Uh, if if there is a rich good library for 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 example GPT cache, yes, there is a caching. I would not probably implement it myself. I would just uh, use interop uh, for the um, Python closure interoperability library. What's the name? I forgot, but we know it, yes. And that's it. Uh, but if I have something uh, more like piping, uh, more, more, um, I don't know, more specific uh, LLM uh, tasks, maybe guardrails, for example, is super interesting and a good, uh, good area and uh, applies uh, closure strengths. Maybe then it's good to to do in in closure. Bosca, for example, also I, I chose it uh, to do in closure because of this um, composability, ability to compose uh, different uh, different functions, different execution points. So I don't know. It's opinion. Really don't know what's 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 the best uh, best choice here. But uh, yeah, it's, if. Of course, we want to have uh, rich, rich uh, closure implementations as, as as we as possible. So yeah, if if closure ecosystem will pick up with certain implementations, then then I guess we are we are good to have pure pure closure, and uh, when necessary, probably interrupting with Python. We'll see. I don't know. Really, don't know. <laughs> That's my answer. Like, don't have good answer. <laughs> Yeah, and and if we let's let's continue this then after after because this is like really big open open topic to discuss. Okay, so what I will present here, so how the prompts are constructed and changed. So I will not go into prompt engineering. We had it yesterday, but just how how those techniques can 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 be applied in how Bosquet can can help with those techniques. How rich templating is helpful with the Selmer library. We'll go slightly deeper with agents and very briefly review API wrappers and the plans and directions discussion for, for, for this. Yes, so immediately let's go less talk and more, more, more work. Um, this is uh, Clerk. Yes, again, <laughs> continuing on the previous question about Python where VS closure. Yeah, so there is an amazing notebooks, uh, notebooks library, notebooks work for, for Python. So yeah, Clerk just did it uh, as well. Equally great, uh, great, great tool to, to work with, uh, with creating notebooks for your, for, your, for your libraries and work with closure. Okay, so what I will do here is... Uh, is I will generate uh, wedding uh, wedding thank you letters. So there was a wedding, yes. And what we have, we have a list of uh, guests, yes, with a name, what kind of gift they brought, what kind of relationship they have with the people who, what's the English word, weddies? No, with people who just married. 
yeah, and the town from which they, they came. Yeah. So uh, what we want to do is that, uh, and again, from yesterday, yes, this data will be uh, as an input to our prompt. We need to give step-by-step -step guidance how to write the letter. Yes, and a few examples of that. Yeah, so we'll do that step-by-step -step guide. So here, example, name Nancy, relationship, hometown, and then what is the step-by-step -step guidance? So that they are the friends of parents. So what we want to highlight is that they are the, the language have to be more 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 formal. Yes, and New Jersey and Puerto Rico, where the wedding took part, is is a long distance apart. So thank you for for coming. Yes, and some something specific about about the present itself. Yeah, and that's the example of a letter. Yeah, and uh, actually we'll go to code. And show you the. Uh, da, 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 da. No, where's my? Ah, anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, what I wanted to show just that we have is yeah, well, it's it's visible here as well. Yes, the whole kind of the example, JSON, or well, not JSON, Eden in this case, yes. So we have this in our database. Yes, so we, what we do, ah, here's the prompt, actually, I was looking in the Emacs. Yeah, so this is my prompt. And that's what I meant by, by composability. So instead of writing the whole prompt in one text file, I can dissect it. Yes, I can say that this is my context. This is where I give my, my um, a few short examples. And immediately you can see the, uh, the power of, of uh, templating, yes? So that I can, uh, can give them here this vector of examples, yes? And Selmer will inject it to me, like, the whole thing so i don't have to deal with huge text uh, tabs text blobs here i can and can compose it yes and then i'm saying that this is my my step by step thing how are the notes composed and this is the letter itself so yeah i'm giving context few short examples and this is my concrete concrete uh, name of the of the guest for which i want to um generate a letter and here, note this is similar to Microsoft guidance. Uh, and I was yeah pleased to, to, to discover that they also did the similar, uh, that me and them arrived at similar architecture. So here is this specific uh, tag. I will go deeper into this, what does that mean? But at this point we're generating, and this is the, parameters for 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 this uh, generation yes so what kind of model i can specify temperature and other things another in, in, interesting thing here is this uh, uh, variable name so to what kind of closure variable in the map uh, the result has to be assigned yes that's the same here and yeah that's what i will go now through for all the generations yes generate complete this is letter writer is this uh, prompt here yes and i'm just asking that okay my guests are the database from above with all the guests and for each of, the, of each of the guests i'm just you know issuing this generation and that's what i will have this is the full data here and then here are the first two examples yes for laura and mike and for uncle sam as well yeah, so I have all the all of that printed out, and this is also in uh, in table format for the same for the same uh, output. Yes, yeah, so uh, so we have uh, then later in my program, and I can extract and use this for I don't know sending emails or not. We this is in in closure map. Um, yeah, so this is how it works. This uh, generating uh, letters. Uh, just quicker, a few few additional notes about Selmer. Yeah, so you saw that uh, this LLM generate, this is the, the central uh, addition uh, 
Selmer itself, though, though we don't have this uh, generation tag, yes. But what we have is that we can define different tags. Tag, yeah, variable syntax. Yes. Oops. Can't open this page. Okay, doesn't matter. Maybe there's just a some kind of a glitch, but um. Oh yeah, it's here, actually. Variable names, tags, everything is defined here. So we can define something, some some custom tags. That's exactly what I did. It's just that there was a difference. Uh, I had to fork uh, sell fork Selmer to my own repository because, and I might uh, I not try to contribute back, but it's not ne strictly necessary for for original Sel Selmer because LLM generate tag needs to know. Preceding, ta uh, preceding text, yes, because this is my kind of the input, to it, the prompt, yes. So it has has to know inside what was what kind of template text I already generated for me. So this is an interesting difference from from original Selmer. Oh, how many of you are familiar with Selmer? Have you worked with it? Uh, find it useful? Yeah, it's it's. No, not just for LLM, it's just good for, for any any um I don't know templating you, you want to you want to do. So yeah, highly recommend it. Fast and uh, and good library uh, to work with. Now the the other uh, contribution from the from the broader closure community, the Pathon. Pathon product which is amazing at uh, building uh, building uh, computation graphs yes is that you can you can define uh you can define your 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 space your graph where 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 you say okay i need to arrive at certain computation this computation is composed of different steps you just define those different steps and you don't need to worry about this, the order of, of execution of those steps. Yes, Pathom will, will do it for you. And you can, you can see why it is important in this case is that I want to define my bits and pieces of prompts. I want to define like in this wedding letter that uh, there is a context, there is an example. And, and I don't really want to deal with understanding oh is this part of a prompt was already generated can i use it in another component uh, where generation is also happening so it will always resolve those dependencies and um, and help me just focus on my work on defining uh, defining my prompts and what depends on what so well, i will show this example so if i want so i want to generate a synopsis of a play yes uh, based on title and genre yes and that's it and then critic will have to write a uh, critic uh, critique of his synopsis yes so it cannot generate critique if synopsis is not generated yes and if i define and for example in lang chain you will have to worry about this you will have to make sure that when you're constructing this generation chain you you general you you define everything so that the synopsis is generated first, and the review comes after. Here I don't care. I just define them, and Pathom will uh, through its uh, amazing graph processing uh, capabilities will figure that out for me. So, and then I just say, okay, I, I want this uh, uh, final output. So. I will go to demo and I understand this is more complex stuff so I will I will uh, I will I will pause for question but uh, maybe eh, maybe maybe first we'll show you how it is how it works yes here yeah so as I noted yeah so I want to define to write a a, a synopsis for a play I only have uh, crime drama as a, as a, as a, as a genre. Oh, I, I mixed up. You see, uh, the title and genre is, is the other way around. So, but anyway, it's crime drama and the Fifth Man as a title of it. Yes, and it will generate the the title. Yes. 
So this is this is a simple template for it. You already are familiar with that. Yeah. So you are a playwright. This is how I inject data. Yes. And this is my simple one one off generation. Yes. So I, I go here more into the details of what kind of uh, parameters to to specify. But this is not. This should be also familiar from the APIs of OpenAI. And this will will generate output. Yes. Title, prime, and so on. Yeah. So this is fine. Now, if I have dependencies, that's where Python will, will Python will help me. Yes. So if I want to generate review template, you see the review depends on a play, on a result of a play, and play inside executes executes AI generation. So you see there is a dependency which has to be resolved somehow. Yes. So if play has to go first. And after I have to execute uh, review, but I don't. In, and in this toy example, fine, it's it's simple. But imagine if I have like much broader thing. If if there is a if in my play I want to talk about certain geographical location, what's the weather now in Vilnius, Lithuania, where I live? And and there is another dependency. And then there is a character who is dependent on uh, on some Wikipedia article, date of birth, and then you you have all of that, and then. You know, you can go crazy with dependencies uh, between each uh, each of those components. So I don't want, again, I don't want to deal with that. I pass it to, to, to Python. Here I define that, okay, that's my all of my components, yes, in the, in, in the, in the plane. And that's it. And I execute it like that with the same comp uh, completion uh, um, call. Here, play review is as previously my prompt palette uh we palette we all all the prompts i have defined for this particular case i supply data and here in the last parameter i just say okay which keys from my from my uh generation space are interesting for me yes so in this case i will be interested in synopsis and just everything you are you are providing um yes and that's how it goes yes so now i have Play synopsis, where is it play itself? Then I can get ju just a review part. Yes, if I want to use it in uh, in uh, my my uh, code somewhere for down the line. Yeah, so this is the I think this is the main one of the main strengths of the Bosque with with uh, with um, in integration with um, uh, graph processing in Python. Um, yeah, so any questions around that? And again, I think this is one of the one of the let's say areas where worst case is ahead of of uh, Langchain, unless I don't know how to use it. But, but yeah, you have to in Langchain, you have to you know, you know, you have to define explicitly your your sequences. So with this, you can be much more dynamic and you know go around. Yeah. Uh, maybe just uh, one question for me. Mm -hmm. uh, so does uh, is the whole uh, sorry at the end? Uh, how much of this uh, generated uh, stuff is coming into the prompt uh, to the LRM? Uh, I mean. Uh, I, I think uh, here uh, we see more than four or three different uh, LLM queries, right? But I'm just curious if uh, at the end, uh, the last query, uh, everything is uh, sent as well to the LLM and does that uh, break the token limit? Thank you very much. Sorry, you are muted, uh, Zygiman, Zig please. Yeah, somehow I'm pressed mute. Yes, you're right. So everything is 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 composed. So if, if for example here in this one, as it is as it is processed, yes, this is all of that will be sent to to the LLM. In inside of a play, there is another call to LLM. It will come back with uh, with the generation. Yes, will it will inject it here. It will start counting towards the uh, end result of the token limit. And yes, and now this one will hit. 
And yeah, plus another uh, talk, uh, token account here is coming in. So, um, so and yeah, potentially we can hit the uh, the uh, token limit. Um, uh, Bosque has the splitter for the large uh, contacts, actually contributed by by the other of a developer. I invited him. I don't know, maybe he's here. Uh, don't see him. Yeah, uh, the splitting of the context, but the support for the memory for the splitting of context is quite initial in in Bosque, and, and I would love to yeah invite everyone who wants to to work with me on 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 addressing those issues because what would be cool here is that as this platform based processing happens. We are building and building, building context. At some point, we want to start splitting this, maybe offloading some of that into vector dbs, and then continuing. And then Pathom can read of the vector db whatever is necessary later in the processing. A lot of exciting, uh, I don't know, architecturing and developing and thinking about areas. So you see how again. So that's why we are so excited about LLMs. It's it's such an interesting area which brings in like i don't know paradigms uh, architectures to think about uh, how to implement the, this best it's like i don't know modeling the way brain works i don't know it's it's <laughs> and it, and on each step uh, especially if we're starting thinking about production yes all those problems have to be solved it's 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 if we, if we if we are not solved, it's just a nice toy. Yes. Oh, yeah. It nice nicely generates a, um, a travel plan or recipe. But yeah, if I want to work in hospital or financial institution, with that, yeah, it's, it's it will be tough going without without addressing those things. Yeah. So it's great question. Great, great, great thing to to highlight. Yeah. Um, Yes, what do I have else in this? This is user user guide uh, notebook. So I have a few things maybe I missed. But yeah, nothing. I guess this is Selmer tutorial here with like a default text if you're not supplying variable names. Yeah, so again, Selmer is, is really cool. Here is it's actually a Twitter uh, example of uh, uh, sentiment analysis. Um, yeah, but this is not, not nothing new. I already, already covered this. Uh, Yes, um, another component. So you see, again, we, we talked a little bit about Python VS closure. And uh, yeah, so this, uh, this niceness of a closure ecosystem, this closure composability built libraries, not huge frameworks. And this is this is cool because we can we can immediately you know, start using uh, whatever is prepared in, in the in the enclosure for for us, like Selmer, Python, uh, OpenAI closure library, very nicely implemented, uh, strong library, uh, which I'm using to to make actual just calls, just calls to 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 OpenAI, which is not also trivial to make it all work. Yes, like we have chat. Endpoints we have other endpoints we have uh, Azure implementations yes which I don't want to worry about so all of that is kind of nicely wrapped around and this library takes care of it and uh, and and I opened I think an issue ah it's just uh, my presentation software does not allow to open internally multiple things but I will open an issue and probably will we'll start working with the here to start to to uh oh it's already merged so this morning i opened an issue to 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 uh, to have a support for new open ai functions and yeah so cool so i will add this to Bosca as well yeah again very nice example of uh of work within closure community. I will, if for those who don't know what are the open AI functions, I will go to that briefly. But yeah, from the, this morning to what, a uh, few hours and we have this implementation. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, so, but, but we have a bunch of other uh, uh, LLM providers. Uh, Anthropic, Cohere, Hugging Face, and I'm just mentioning a few here, yes. Yeah, so, 
So it would be cool if 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 um, community as a whole is coming up with those similar similar open AI closure implementation so that we can use it in uh, in other libraries like Bosket and, and others for for raw calls to the to the endpoints. Um, oh I talked so much and I see we are past time to, to the most interesting part. Um, okay, so I'll try to be brief. Um, and what's 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 be better to be brief if not actual demonstration? So, what are the agents? Yes, the agents are things which will uh, given a task, given a task will go and figure that out. So in this case, I'm asking a, a complex question about certain person who collaborated with the U.S. Navy admiral. Uh, who was serving under a specific president, yes? So it's kind of a, you have to go through multiple hoops in, in terms of, of figuring that out, yes? And uh, what this will do is that it will use Wikipedia agent, which will actually search Wikipedia itself for the answers and will kind of think about it. So it's not differently from what was demonstrated yesterday with vector DBs, where we context was was served from the vector db this one will understand oh i need to search like it will make a decision about search and will go and search wikipedia yes so so you see here soft task i'm giving a a worker a task fulfiller wikipedia in in a more rich Auto GPT and other libraries, you have a lot of uh, agents, uh, tasks, uh, tools. So in this case, it's just Wikipedia. I just started, and again, a call to community to work on more, uh, no more tools. And agent itself is just one React type of agent. And I give them a task here, yes. And let's execute it. Is it is it running like this? Yeah, here you see it. it I gave him a task. Uh, where is it? Yeah, fault. Yeah, so it, and this is how React is defined. Yes, so this one was sent to the LLM. Now it, it observed that it needs to do this action search for David Chanoff. Yes, and you see Bill Clinton, it came back. So this is fault one. Act one is to search for David. Oh, it came back. This one observation is actually, if you would look up, it is the content from Wikipedia. The first sentence is from Wikipedia. Yes. And then from the observation, we'll start, oh, we'll start thinking, what else should I do with this new information? It will go and search again, this time for William. Yes. We'll search for William. This is again a full information from Wikipedia. And with that, it again asks uh, asks uh, LLM, and then it says finish, but I'm done. Yes. So uh, if I look at, let's very briefly look at the code uh, here. Yes. Yeah, so I'm giving a tool in a proper implementation, a future releases. Here we have to have not tool but tools plural, so that we provide more tools. Yes, it starts looping through the through this task. Yes, uh, here yeah, generate thoughts will uh, will will su from supplied prompt palette, and I will show you prompt palette. React prompt palette is defined like that, so that in step zero, I'm injecting examples, and this is your stuff you already know few short examples yes i'm giving question about colorado mountains and sequence of of actions and thoughts what to do yes till it reaches finish state and there are more more examples yeah, you see it, it went through five iterations till it reached the uh, final answer and again few short example stuff yeah how how to deal with that uh, so this is step zero to initiate and then step N is just that, again, uh, I'm supplying reasoning trace. So like building up my thinking about it and I'm pasting observation, which is coming back from FLM and then generating again. 
uh, yeah, you see this kind of the cycling, yes, internally through LLM, through environment, and kind of the building up this reasoning, uh, reasoning uh, trace, yes, and reasoning trace is exactly what I'm printing out here. Yeah, so this is the uh, prompt palette. If you will be solving tasks in medical domain, all you need to do is just apply different examples here, fill in different examples, and that's it. Yes, and, and then the same the same uh, React tooling provided by Bosquet will, will do the work for you. And so I'm iterating till, till, the, till I'm reaching maximum steps. In this case, it's five. Yes, I'm not ranking up the costs or, or, or time. If I'm reaching finish action, I'm also quitting the loop. Yes, I'm printing the last observation. Or I am continuing my thinking. Yes, if I didn't reach uh, either limit or step uh, final step in, 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 my, in my execution. Yeah, so that's how it is done. And very then, uh, agent, uh, agent, agent, agent here. Oops. Tool, yes. And that's how the tools are defined in protocol. Yes. So I, the tool has to know how to search. The tool has to know how to look up in its own search results. And the tool has to decide when to finish. Yes. And that's. That's where the mind reader namespace will read the output and decide what to kind of how to interpret the uh, the thoughts and and process. By the way, note no that's irony. No matter the uh, where are we, how close are we to artificial general intelligence? Regular expressions are always 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 here with us, no matter what. Um, yeah, so that's the that's the implementation, very initial, well, simple implementation of agents and tooling in Bosque, and I hope to grow it and uh, and and yeah, hope it will be. Yeah, I just showed it quickly. Uh, I don't know any questions because we are past time, and uh... oh, so by the way, uh, the official time is is not over yet uh, we have you, you usually we have 90 minutes so if you wish oh continue. i thought it's an hour okay oh, so, yeah, so really okay. no rush if you wish oh, to show okay. anything more okay. than okay. Would yeah okay um, so any questions about agents i don't know i quickly rushed through the code here but um uh but yeah so then okay uh, yes hello uh i have a question just to see if i understand so the the react is the uh, reaction and an act, mm -hmm. and then the agent will be the function that is going to to go through that loop to kind of build the the query, the the, the prompt. Uh, oops, what is uh, yeah? So react is an agent, the type of an agent, which okay, which kind of okay, it's so a type loop. of agent, okay, yeah, the type of agent which which defines how are you looping because. There are other okay. agent types, yes, and React okay. is just one of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there, okay, thank you. Yes, and tool is, is, in this case, I showed it with Wikipedia, but there are lots, if you would look at and Langchain, another typical one is um, search uh, through Sarah PI, which issues Google queries. Another very popular is the um, Wolfram Alpha, you can fire up uh, mathematical, you know, calculations, precise. Yeah, so those are like simple. If I will look at the actual implementation of uh, Wikipedia, it's, uh, yeah, you see it just, uh, you know, uh, call API, Wikipedia API, and that's it. The, the main thing is is here, is in, in this search lookup. So if, when LLM comes back with this, yes, with this uh, thought, you still have to do this regular expression kind of a thingy and extract this part, yes, here. That it is search action, which I have to do. Yes, but I have to call this one uh, and then actually call it. Uh, what is, again, in, in more advanced implementation of all those uh, agent tooling is that 
is that you give the, in this case, here in Wikipedia, you just give it the name Wikipedia, but usually you would give a proper description, yes? This is a tool to search Wikipedia for queries, titles, and whatnot. And then, uh, then you can ask your LLM based on the observation to pick up the tool. So you would have not two lines like here, thought and action. You would have another line saying, pick up a tool or something like, like that. Or here you would have search, more like something like that. Search, Vicky, yes. And you will know that you will have to pick out uh, um, uh, Wikipedia tool, tool for, for this. Yeah, so this is quite, that's, that's what I would want to continue here working on. And uh, and yeah, a few, few more tools would be, would be cool. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you know, maybe comments now, chat. Oh, okay. Maybe just one question uh, right now. Uh, how how yeah. difficult is it to implement uh, new tools in this uh, paradigm? Sorry, repeat the question. I was distracted by chat message. <laughs> Apologies. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Yes, uh, in this paradigm, uh, how difficult is it to write uh, our own tools? Yeah, so your, your own tools, uh, I believe, and that would require a few iterations with someone writing it. But I believe this is super trivial. Um, again, uh, all you, what you would typically do is uh, to wrap uh, a, a, you would define your type, yes, based on a tool protocol. Yes, and you would implement a few of those uh, uh, functions. And uh, for example, if, if it will evolve from alpha, so you all you would have to do is just to insert, you would have to, implement uh, how you are searching uh, Wolfram. If it is, let's say you, you have a, your own internal database, yes? And uh, so then in the search, you will implement SQL query, probably, yes? Um, in lookup, you would probably implement uh, result, result parsing uh, from the, in, in that, in that, uh, well, whatever came back from SQL. I'm not sure actually if lookup is often needed. It just, it was defined in the React paper, original React paper. And how, what do you do on finish? When maybe on finish, you want to, I don't know, write something to your own database, yes? So that's it, this is, that's all you need to do because in React, in React uh, loop, Yes, it just uh, yeah you supply it and it will, will it will get it will be called yes by 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 this loop with with appropriate task yeah so yeah I believe it would it should be simple but I just released it myself so I want to write a few other tools and then a few other cases and I bet of course it will some 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 you know situations will arise which. I will figure out, okay, this is not convenient for the developers. But yeah, so I will be happy to help uh, with, if you want to use it and, and have some something in particular in mind. Yeah. Could you tell us how, um, how this uh, Wikipedia tool knows when it's finished? Yeah, it's so it does, knows uh, when it's finished from. Uh, uh, it's LLM which decides it based on examples on fine tuning. Yes, so uh, in this example, and I can only speculate because the the question was about the president. Yes, so so it 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 in in thought number three. Yes, it came up with an answer that it is uh, President Bill Clinton and that there is that the full information is, uh, is here. And LLM from OpenAI decided that the action number three will be finished. But that's a problem because, and that's why, that's why I have this uh, max step, uh, maximum steps uh, five. Uh, it is not guaranteed. Yes, it might. Ah, no, let's do the trick. 
let's do a nice trick with, with this. Um, uh, I will try to, to break it. I know that I think uh, it is Da Vinci, which is default, still default. No, let's AI. What is the default? Ha! Ada, even better. So with Ada, it will definitely never reach an uh, answer. Never, forever. Yeah. And now let's run it. Now let's run it. Um, Okay. Okay. Hmm, is it really add somehow slow? Mm. No, I think it is Da Vinci still. Still. Yeah, it came back with a question. Or oh, maybe it didn't. Ah, I didn't reload. It's it's here. Yeah. Because I need to reload this uh, prompt palette here. Yes. Yeah, okay. Well, it didn't crash as I intended. <laughs> it's something to fix, but... Um... But, but yeah, it crashed uh, because uh, most likely the observation came back in a different format, like action one was, was, um, yeah, you see here how also React is forming its own graph with dependencies input output and kind of resolves that I'm not logging what I'm calling. I do. Log it frequency penalty open AI text adder yeah yeah that's why it crashed yeah but um, but uh, main point is that okay it should not crash here but uh, but um, there is no guarantee as yes, that uh, LLM will come back with oh uh, yeah I'm finished yes it might continue forever that's why we need guardrails in term in 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 primitive uh, solutions like uh, like like just to you know how many loops we go in this uh, in this case five or even introducing libraries like uh, like the one i talked about uh, like this proper guardrails and saying okay you always have to come back with some kind of action and finish it and and so on so that's why when dealing with agents, we really, really, really have to be uh, very careful and guard ourselves. Yes, it's not your infinite loop with uh, recursion when the worst thing which will happen is crash on computer. In this case, <laughs> it might be less funny things. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then when I was implementing this, I tried to be oh, as close as possible to the paper. And so I used the terminology as they use it. So this reasoning trace, steps, and so on. So so, so that uh, it's kind of better, better, easier to, to follow. But again, it's also not, if you look at it, it's not that huge. Yeah, it's essentially this loop of what, 20 lines or so. So that's all it takes and a bunch of logging actually inside. So, so yeah, it's what we see in this LLM world in terms of implementations. It's often not something crazy. It's, uh, but it's, again, it's not something crazy because we're not deploying that into production. Then we go into production. Yeah, it will grow immensely. Yeah. Um, Is this notebook um that you were showing us is that uh, visible somewhere it is in uh i i read I, I lost somewhere i saw i bet i saw that clerk has the ability to deploy like live deploy notebooks but uh 
but I lost it. But it is in Bosca. So if you go to Bosca, I have a documentation somewhere about this. Uh, oops. Notebook. Yeah, it's a no. It's a notebook. Oh yeah, you have to run it uh, with dev, and yeah. you can go to localhost seven 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 to get it. But if someone can remind me, I, unless I dreamed it up, that the clerk actually had some kind of update where to deploy the live uh, live uh, notebooks, like call up style or something. So would 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 do that definitely. I remember something similar, but I couldn't tell you the yeah. details. Yeah. yeah, but in yeah, if not, just check the check this uh, in 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 documentation. There is the section. Yeah, I've just where, found uh, it. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. By the way, yes. we have uh, eight mm -hmm. minutes to the official time. And maybe some people may need to leave and say goodbye soon. And uh, by the way, thank you to the friends who joined uh, during the meeting. And uh, I think um, maybe uh, you would like to say a few concluding words, and then we, we can stop the recording and think a little mm -hmm. bit unrecorded, because sometimes it is a fun thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, would you like to say something about uh, contributing about a little more to the people who may wish to help or extend Bosquet? Oh yeah, uh, it's it's uh, absolutely. I would love to. I would love to have uh, contributors because, as you saw, it's a lot of a lot of things to to work on. And I started on. Con I, I added some contribution guidelines basic ones so if anyone will see some comments on on contribution guidelines maybe something is missing i uh, would i'm or 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 um, um, the code of conduct yes so if there are any missing things maybe maybe there is so like a like a structure maybe maybe a structure is missing for contribution uh yeah so please comment on that uh, otherwise just please reach out uh, uh, yeah, the Karsten is contributing, contributed the um, uh, splitter, uh, and there are like more and more, a lot of things to to work on. So I'm happy to 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 yeah, pull pull resources together. I'm also happy to I don't know maybe move it outside of Z Medalis. We can create an organization and like you know. GitHub organization and and share we work like more transparently I don't know not, like more sh more shared space so I'm open to everything uh, or uh, as long as we can you know work on that together and then create a great great product here with the with the with the, with the tooling yeah so everyone is invited I <laughs> and please suggest even ways how to how to improve contribution invites yes like a meta level <laughs> thing maybe again maybe licensing is bad or guidelines of contribution is are not good beautiful yeah and maybe in a moment after we stop recording we'll think a little more about that and would you like to say some concluding words uh, before we stop the recording yeah, so it was again, Anil. Thanks for for inviting. It's it's really. I was I was a bit in the in the I don't know uh, uh, fatigue mode uh, from all the speed in in uh, in LLM, Python world, like lang chain and everyone. I was oh, what's the point? Yes, what's the point of on creating those uh, additional libraries? But thanks to kind of we got and uh, <laughs> re reinvigorated the. Uh, the energy to 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 work on it uh, and i see kind of start seeing the potential so it's yeah it's good yeah it's good to 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 have a you know a small big but community who, who are interested and then you know find this uh, work useful so yeah that's i think the most most important thing and you see the plans and direction so that's also a slide where where Probably Bosque can can go all over libraries here, yeah, connected library. It doesn't have to be in one library. It can can be like a suite of different libs, uh, which which work together. 
and uh, implement different aspects of it. So yeah, that's as we that's kind of his suggestions of, of plans. Yeah, so yeah, thanks. Thanks everyone for joining. And it was great presenting it to you. So we are recording again. Hello, and uh, we have a short overview of the namespaces of the yes. source code of Bosque. Yeah. Yeah, so that will, will probably help you to, to you know, understand how it works and then navigate the code. So first of all, of course, go into the notebooks. The notebooks will provide a good, uh, good overview. So your use guide is um, sort of a tutorial. Gives you a best you know, best practices how to call it how how to work with uh, so I would start with use guide to to get the gist of uh, how Bosca is working yes then then the other one is um, uh, yeah so ah before even going into namespaces resources contain prompt palette prompt see where is prompt so strictly you don't need prompt palette. But Bosquet, the idea of Bosquet was to, to provide certain standard prompts and then so you can use it out of the box. But as in the guides, in the user guide, you will see that you can you know, paste in your own. But here I was uh, like uh, working with some of them, like classification uh, uh, prompts and a few others. Uh, but this is like a work in progress. But yeah, you can you can get some examples here. And prompt palette uh, loader is uh, is in here as well. So which has in comment section has some uh, some uh, examples as well. Yes, you see that that I'm using prompt uh, solver. I'm providing again the this generator is always using the same kind of a pattern. Uh, and this is like a main main namespace. It it gets what which uh, prompts I'm you and want to use, the data to feed in, and then it comes back with the with the implementation. So if you want to kind of load prompts, it's probably prompt, prompt palettes. But it, you also can just you know construct in your code uh, maps and feed in. Yeah. So the generator is the the main guy, the main the main namespace actually. Yes. And here, uh, where where I want kind of see necessary, I leave those comment uh, blocks for, for you to execute. Yes, so complete is a function you would use. Yeah, it's same pattern here. Again, my prompts. You see, and they are all again this graph processing. Yes, you are here is connected to the data uh, question. To the data answers and so on so it's kind of the you just define your keys everything is merged and you you go through that yes yeah, so uh then complete will issue the call to to build the uh the was um, platform indexes so that you know how to how to construct how to call them yeah and that's well, let's see it this is the this is the platform resolver thing yes so this is what's what's well what's different is that in the path and you would just pro provide your keys in terms of the you know input output like your your like keywords yes in the maps here we don't provide keywords in a function so or, or maps i need to extract those keywords from the text here yes i need to understand from text what's the input what's the output yes so it's a bit of a text processing happening here but that's it. That's not much, much, much else is uh, happening here. So that's this fill slots and generation wars. So generation wars is actually extracting keywords of the variables so that I know what to feed into the into the uh, uh, platform. And that's the this template reader namespace. A pretty let, let's say low lower level thing, uh, which will deal with that. Yes. Um, you saw this one, var name is for the LM generation as well. So that's the thing. Yes. Uh, another one is this tag. So that's where I'm defining this LLM generate tag. Pretty simple stuff. Yes, you see this, this one, LLM generate. And I'm foreseeing that there will be more tags, not just LLM. I want to rename it just to simple gen as gen, no need to type in such a long long words 
Yes, so this LLM gen will be will be good. Um, uh, and I have a few ideas where where to add more. So, uh, but this is as simple as that. This uh, so yeah, the templates reader and tag converter 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 converter. Do I use it? Or not? Ah, it's something as well. I didn't touch on this, but this converter is to enforce the the schema, yes, as in the Microsoft guidance. So if it, if my LLM answers with yes, no, I want to be true, false, something. But this is this is kind of well, not abandoned, not abandoned, but not developed. This is the area where yeah, contributions would be interesting too. This is the whole kind of the area how to enforce schema. So probably instead of converter schema would be better scheme schema something like that would be better so employing mali schema maybe even better or closure schemas yes would be if run you probably i think mentioned yesterday so this would be better to employ again existing closure infrastructure and define it in mali or closure schema and work with that so but this is yeah this is not really used uh, it started on this and then abandoned open ai just a wrapper around the this yeah nothing nothing much happening here just some some wrappers basically nothing nothing more nothing more splitter yes this is to split long context so where the memory would come in the uh, not just splitting but also the, you know using the vector databases probably so again, needs needs a lot of development. Needs like an extension. Uh, and 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 agents. What I showed yesterday. So, mind reader is something which parses the output. So it's kind of similar to what I just uh, discussed here in converter. So how to coerce the output into specific schema. So read the mind and and convert. So it probably also would be good to explore how this can be defined in Mali or closure schema, redefined it, as because I need this to, to understand how to deal with with tools. Yes. Uh, then uh, this is not committed. This OpenAI function, this new addition. So probably implement, but let's not go here. We discussed React. Yes, this is a React implementation. This is tool protocol and a bunch of print like helper printing functions. Uh, they have to go probably to a different namespace like tooling or utilities or something like that. But this is like, you know, just just that. And Wikipedia tool itself, which is, yeah, just simple API call. Um, uh, tests, yeah, try to have them. Um, more probably needed. So this is, it's 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 not a huge project. It's 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 quite fairly fairly small in terms of namespaces. Yeah. So go through that. Um, try using it. Let's maybe organize another call for and then let's decide what we want to do. Maybe again, maybe implementing a tool, a couple of tools, maybe uh, and changing maybe React to to the so it calls different tools. Or maybe yeah, just solving some specific uh, problem you have, idea you have, and we can we can do this more programming and improve it. And uh, if something is not clear, yeah, you can register an issue in GitHub, and would be happy to help. Not immediately, but yeah, within a few days because yeah, it's it's uh, a hobby project. Yeah, so that's that's a short intro to the code structure. <laughs>